after the warning given to Hezekiah about the impending captivity of Jerusalem, it's quite a surprise to see that his own son, instead of being raised the right way, turns out to be one of the worst kings that Judah has ever seen, even making them do worse than the heathen. He was warned by God by faithful prophets, but it wasn't until he was taken captive that he cried out to God and changed his ways. God heard him and forgave him, but it was hard to reverse the corrupting influence he had had on others from a lifetime of sin. During his reign, he set up a carved image of Ashtoreth in the temple in Jerusalem, according to 2 Kings 21 verse 7. Ashtoreth was the goddess of fertility, and this blatant idol worship was an offense to God. After Manasseh, his son Ammon ruled, the Bible says in 2 Kings 21 verse 22, and he was even worse than his father. He set up idols, would not humble himself, and sinned more and more. In the excavated city of Arad today, you can see what would have been the temple, and there's an outer court with the altar of burnt offering. Then in the inner area, there is a holy place and the most holy place patterned after Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. Then in the most holy place, you can see two altars, and on top of the altars, two stones, one higher than the other. The stones here are replicas, the originals are in the Israel Museum. This worship of two deities was common during this time of Judah's history. Ammon didn't last long though, he was killed after reigning for two years, and his son Josiah reigned in his place. He came to the throne at the young age of eight, with little experience, but he endeavored to do what was right. He would reign for 31 years, but it was in the 18th year of his reign at the age of 25 that a pivotal moment took place. A long lost book of the law was found in the temple by the high priest Hilkiah, and as King Josiah read it, he was deeply stirred as he read about the warnings and exhortations. The blessings of obedience and the curses of disobedience were set before him, and he made up in his mind that he would make a thorough reformation. He had already been a faithful king and had made efforts to clear the land of idol worship, but now he was strengthened with renewed zeal and attempted to clear all forms of idolatry from the land. He sought to destroy all the temples that had been set up for false worship. The temple here in Arad is believed to have been destroyed during the time of Josiah's reform. When he was done, there was only one temple left in the land, and that was in Jerusalem. Josiah would sadly die in battle at the age of 39 with the armies of Egypt, but the Bible records in 2 Kings 23 verse 25 that there was no king before him and no king after him that turned to God with all their heart, mind and soul like he did. Josiah was only young when he became king and his family tree didn't have much semblance of obedience in it, but he didn't let that hold him back. He had family traits that were not positive, but he was able to break the cycle and reign as an honorable king. Some of us come from families with habits, traits and behaviors that are not positive and that we struggle against. But by the power of God, may we break free from the cycle and find victory in Jesus. <music>